Hi, this is George again from eXS Solutions Tech Support. I just wanted to go over some suggestions here for something called screen settings on your BlackBerry to make you more productive. Um, we're going to take a look at that by going to the options icon on your BlackBerry. It might be under settings options on some BlackBerry devices. You then want to choose screen keyboard or type the letter S. It'll take you to screen keyboard. Um, here you can choose different fonts. So we're going to choose uh, Black BB Alpha Sans. Uh, there's some other good choices that you might want to select, such as some of the... Uh, uh, we'll click the menu here and we'll take a look. Some of the BB Milbank uh, options are, are good also. Uh, you can also change the font size. So you can click here and choose a convenient font size. And notice the BlackBerry will show you what that's going to look like. The key here to remember is the larger the font size, the less characters you're going to see on the screen. And here's a really important tip. You want to make sure that you choose a font style such as bold or extra bold. If you go to plain, it's actually very hard to read. So we're going to choose bold here. Um, something else that's really important is the back the backlight brightness. The default is 100%, but I found you can actually crank this down a lot, maybe down as low as perhaps 10% or 20%, depending on your model. So you might want to experiment with that. But the lower you keep the screen brightness, the longer your battery is going to last. Once you've done that, you can set a timeout value here, perhaps 90 seconds or a minute. Um, two minutes might be a little bit long. Keep in mind that this means that the last time you, this is the amount of time that will elapse since you last pressed a key on your BlackBerry. So actually even a figure like 90 seconds or so is, is really quite sufficient. There's some other options you can change on here as well. For example, um, the convenience keys. There's a couple default convenience keys which are kind of annoying in some times. For example, the, having the camera as a default means that if you accidentally grab that uh, or bump that key while you're picking up your BlackBerry, you suddenly find it's ready to take a picture and that can be annoying. What's even more annoying, I think, is the, um, the default voice dialing. If you use the default voice dialing feature, that may be convenient for you. But I'm sure you've all had the experience where you pick up your BlackBerry and it suddenly says, say a command, and you want to just tell it to shut up. So. Um, better you can uh, choose some other options by clicking on here, for example. Some uh, good choices might be to change that to Application Task Switcher, which is actually kind of interesting. Uh, another thing that you may want to choose here might be, for example, um, your BlackBerry uh, Messages or BlackBerry uh, Maps or Address Book. So there, there are various applications you can choose. So again, depending on what application you want to use most frequently, you could choose that. Uh, we'll choose Calendar for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Menu key and then save those changes. So the result is that by changing this, number one, if you go to your Messages, you'll notice that you've got a nice large font showing up here and it's in bold and it's easy to read. Um, and that just makes it very easy to use your BlackBerry. Uh, in addition, you notice how the screen dimmed down there. Um, in addition, you can also uh, use the convenience keys. So, for example, here we brought up the task switcher. So it makes it very easy to choose to a different application while you're using the BlackBerry, such as the home screen or some other screen. So, again, this was a short video showing some simple tips that can help you make your BlackBerry more productive and easier to use. For more information, please visit www.eaccess.com or www.wirelessbyeaccess.com.